All right, another review for a microscope. This is the Tom Love. Uh, this is the DM602 Pro. This is their high-end model right now. And it has a lot of accessories, so I thought it would be interesting to show it so you guys can make a decision on what micro kind of microscope you want to buy. It has a lot of different lighting options. It has, uh, we'll, we'll, show, we'll show those when we get to it. Um, so let's see here, it comes with a HDMI cable and uh, here's the manual. They have another microscope that has a um, an arm on it. So if you don't like the uh, uh, benched mount one, uh, you can get this other one. Maybe it stays out of the way. Maybe this takes up too much room on your bench. They were going to send me one of these, but I just don't like those kind. And so they sent me this one instead. Uh, so yeah, let's just uh, hook it up. They all, they all, they all are about the same. You get, you get the one base unit uh, that has uh, that has everything. So this is basically the microscope. It has a, a lens and a display. This is a nice 10.1 inch display. So it's a nice big one. I wouldn't get any small ones these, I don't know. The seven inch seems to be a little bit too small for me. I like the 10 inch ones. Um, this is about a $300 kit, so it's not cheap, but uh, it does have a lot of accessories. So let me go ahead and set it up and then uh, and we'll take a look at it. All right, uh, here we have a uh, microscope running. So this one has an improved um, base, an improved stand, and I really do like it. One of my major complaints of other microscopes that I have reviewed is that the uh, uh, stands can be a bit wobbly. This one is very, very, very robust, so I, I like it much better. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just it's just heavier construction and it just it just feels much much sturdier so it does have a uh a rack and pinion here it does have a uh uh adjustment you can move in and out you can move up and down and it has a collet stop here to keep you from sliding down too far um but so i do like all of that that is a great improvement um it has a tiltable screen so we can we can get rid of the reflections in the room, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, so we can hook it up. We can see if we can uh, uh, focus it. So there's a collar here that does the focusing. I don't know if this shows up on camera, but I can see the dot matrix printing. Uh, I can see the dot matrix printing there uh, on the uh, user manual. Uh, we can put some electronic device under there. Let's take a look at this. Um, Looks pretty nice. Looks like it's a little overexposed. There's a button, a button on the uh, uh, control. There's, oh, you can't see that. <clears throat> There's a control here that's on and off, and also lighting uh, plus and minus. So we can we can turn it down, and uh, we can also move the lights around. So let's just move one of the lights out of the way, and there you go. We're getting a really nice. Uh, Nice picture now of the uh, of the part. Color looks great. Yeah, uh, we can turn it. We can read uh, read the part number and stuff. Yeah, very nice. So, um, like I said, this does have a bunch of options. So let's talk about the, uh, the options that come with the kit. All right. The first option is you get three lenses. So you get a, a long working distance, a medium working distance and a short working distance. And those come at different magnifications. All right. So, um, this is the one that I would always use. I think it's good from, uh, we can read the manual here. It looks good from, yeah, let me read the manual. All right, here are the three lenses. Um, times 2 to 700, times 60 to 200, and times 1,000 to 2,000. Uh, the one that I have on here is lens A. It has a working distance anywhere from 12 millimeters to 320 millimeters, right? So that part that we had, that part that we had in here, if we want to have a greater magnification, well, what we do is we, uh, we lower the, uh, 
we lower the whole microscope down closer and then we have to refocus it but it'll focus it'll focus in really 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 close um, so this lens like just lens will just do everything that I want all in, all in one lens okay the medium lens I now lost my place again uh, the medium lens will go from 90 millimeters to 300 millimeters but at much higher magnification 60 to 200 all right and then the other lens is more of a biological uh, that last lens the 2000 to 1000 to 2000 the working distance is only four or five millimeters so you would really only use that with uh, a, an illuminator that came underneath right now we're ha our illuminators are coming from the top we would want an illuminator that's coming from the bottom and that's included in the kit as well okay uh, that is uh, that is this right here and we'll show that later but it comes with a, a underside illuminator for kind of like microscope slide work and things like that. All right. The one big thing that the pro version also comes with is a proper ring light, which is what I was really, really interested in seeing. Okay. And so it does come with a real ring light, a nice, a nice big one too. I really like this. Um, now one of the disadvantages to having, uh, this ring light is there is no system where it uses all the same power you actually have to have a separate uh a separate power supply just for the ring light so that's a that's a bit of a disadvantage uh, but once it's set up it's set up uh, so let's go ahead and get that on there i prefer ring lights uh a lot of the time to these uh gooseneck lights did i show those maybe i didn't i didn't really show those let me get this out of the way all right so the uh the goose lights are these, the gooseneck lights are these, so you get two lights. Now these lights are really, really good in uh, making, sure, making sure you don't have any glare, okay? So if you have glare on an object, let's see, there, see, this is kind of glare. It's reflecting right back into the camera. In fact, let's, this is kind of a shiny, uh, this is a shiny um, object, and you get this, this shine here. I can show it. You can get this shine off the thing. If you move your goosenecks off to the side, well, they might reflect off of something, but they won't get back to the lens. So, um, yeah. So those uh, those side lights are are the way to go to get rid of get rid of the glare. Okay. Now the ring light also is not right centered on the lens, but it also can add glare and stuff too. So let me hook this one up, and then we'll. We'll see how it performs in this system. And it looks like it has an adjustment here for, for brightness as well. So that's nice. Let me, uh, let me find another power outlet and get this hooked up. All right. So here I've attached the ring light. It does have a, uh, a brightness control on it, which I think is really, really nice. Now, remember I told you that you can get glare off of objects. Uh, so let me show you that here. Um, you can see that this uh, particular shiny surface is going to give you a ring of shine, right? So if you have something super, super shiny and you're at a particular distance and stuff. Now, as we come down, that should disappear. If we come down really close and I refocus, then the, uh, the ring light glare is now out, outside the field of view. So um, it's not going to be a problem at... Uh, uh, narrower distances, it will become a problem at, at higher distances. So as we move this up, does it become a problem? No, because there's nothing really shiny in the, in the object. Okay. That's only when you have something really, really shiny. Um, this is actually shiny, but uh, the ring light's not getting in the way any longer. Now, I believe that's a much, much better picture than those gooseneck lights is giving you. I think ring lights just give you, because they're illuminating from all sides. So the other ones can cast shadows and stuff. I think these are just, these are, the ring lights are just the way to go. All right. And in fact, uh, the ring lights uh, are so popular with me. I built my own ring light for my wild microscope over here. And uh, yeah, I use that. I use them all the time. So this is a nice, nice addition. Okay. So I've showed you the different lenses. I've showed you the different illumination ob uh, uh, options. Um, I haven't showed you the last illumination option, which is the below 
Uh, let me zoom back out again. I need to go back out. I haven't showed you this thing here, which is kind of the microscope slide attachment thing. All right. So it uses the same uh, system here for the goosenecks. You can plug this connector here. Now you have a, uh, and I can take off the, uh, I can take off our ring light illuminator. We won't need that. Just get in the way. Now we have the light coming directly from below. Okay. Included in the kit are some sample prepared slides and uh, we will take a look to see what they gave us. Let's see, this one looks like a fun one. So you can put the microscope slide in here just like a regular microscope. It even has some little fingers here to hold it down and everything. Okay, put it in here and we can focus on the thing. All right, so now we have something very small and we want to take a look at it closely. So we're gonna have to change the lenses. The way that you change the lenses that you remove these two screws, don't drop them on the floor. And uh, so the lens comes out, all right. We will get the biological microscope objective here. And we will put that in. There we go. Now remember these have like a four to five millimeter working distance. And so we're gonna have to lower, lower the microscope down. All right, move it down, 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 somewhere around in there. And uh, find our object, which is here. And then I will move it some more. I'm, I'm using the uh, a rack and pinion in the back to focus on things. And there we go. So let's show you this. So uh, we are looking at a, uh, a bee's wing. Okay, so this is the the wing off of a bee. All right, let's see what other slides do they give us here. Um, uh, what is this? This is the leg. Uh, there we go. So if you have kids, this is a great way to introduce them to the microscop micro microscopic world. Kids love to see things really, really close. I can zoom here, focus. So you can actually see the hair. If I can focus this a little better. There we go. You can actually see the hair uh, on the leg of a bee. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you one more and then we'll Go to something else. Uh, this is an onion. Uh, and why do you want to look at an onion? So you can look at the actual cells. Um, if I can focus this good here. There we go. So you can actually see the cell outlines of the onion of the plant. Um, so yeah, lots to look at. So that's the way that's the way this works. You have this under light and uh, use the different lens. All right, there you go. This was a review of the Tomlov um, DM602 Pro. And uh, it does come with a lot of options. It comes with the uh, regular gooseneck lights. It comes with the ring illuminator. Um, it comes, and the ring illuminator is nice. It's, it's a whole bunch of LEDs, not, not just a few. There's a, a triple row of LEDs. Uh, and then it comes with the uh, microscope slide adapter. Um, yeah, um, looks like a pretty nice microscope. And the improved stand, that's, I guess that's the really nice thing. It's not as wobbly as the uh, other stands that I've looked at. So that's a great improvement. Thank you.